Good day everyone. Here's our math challenge for today. And here's our question. This question is from Ukrainian Mathematical Olympiad. Now solve for all real values of x. In this equation, we have x to the fourth minus 7x cubed plus 14x squared minus 7x plus 1 equals 0. Now, if you want to try this problem, just pause this video. We have 20 seconds and timer starts now. Time's up. Now, let's answer this question together. So, in this question, I will provide two solutions to answer this question. So, let's start with the first solution. On our first solution, notice that x to the fourth minus 7x cubed plus 14x squared minus 7x plus 1 is almost similar to the expansion of x minus 1 raised to the fourth power. Because x minus 1 raised to the fourth power is equivalent to x to the fourth minus 4x cubed plus 6x squared minus 4x plus 1. To use this expansion, notice in this term negative 7x cubed, we can break this into negative 4x cubed and negative 3x cubed. So if you combine them, this is just the same thing as negative 7x cubed. So we have now negative 4x cubed. Next. We need to pull out 6x squared on 14x squared. So let's separate 14x squared into 6x squared and 8x squared. Now do the same thing in this negative 7x. Let's pull out negative 4x. So negative 7x can be written as negative 4x minus 3x. Now let's rearrange some terms. If we do that, we get x to the fourth power minus 4x cubed plus 6x squared minus 4x plus 1 minus 3x cubed plus 8x squared minus 3x equals 0. Now take note that this expression is equivalent to x minus 1 raised to the fourth power. Now we're left with x minus 1 raised to the fourth power minus 3x cubed plus 8x squared minus 3x. Now at this point, Aside from the expansion of x minus 1 raised to the fourth power, we will also use the expansion of x minus 1 raised to 2. This is equivalent to x squared minus 2x plus 1. Now the question is, what do we need to do to put this x minus 1 squared into our equation? Now notice that this 8x squared can be separate as 6x squared and 2x squared. Now, if we arrange some terms like this, we have here negative 3x cubed plus 6x squared minus 3x. Now, what is the relationship of this expression to x squared minus 2x plus 1? Now, notice that if we factor out negative 3x in this expression, we get negative 3x multiplied by x squared minus 2x plus 1. And this is exactly x minus 1 quantity squared. So we have now x minus 1 raised to the fourth power minus 3x multiplied by x minus 1 squared plus 2x squared. Now to make it simple, let n equals x minus 1 quantity squared. Therefore, this x minus 1 quantity squared is just n. And this x minus 1 raised to the fourth power is just n squared. Now we have n squared minus 3xn plus 2 x squared. And also notice that it can be factored as n minus 2x multiplied by n minus x. Now since it is equal to 0, it follows that at least one of them must be equal to 0. Therefore, we can say that n minus 2x equals to 0 or n minus x equals 0. And also take note that this n minus 1 quantity squared is just x squared minus 2x plus 1. Now, we can replace n with x squared minus 2x plus 1. 
So this n becomes x squared minus 2x plus 1 minus 2x equals 0. Also, this n can be replaced as x squared minus 2x plus 1 minus x equals 0. Now simplify this first equation. Negative 2x minus 2x will give us negative 4x. And on the second equation, negative 2x minus x is just negative 3x. Now since we have two quadratic equations and both of them are not factorable, therefore, we will use the quadratic formula. We have negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now on the first equation, a is just 1, the coefficient of x squared, b is negative 4, and c must be 1. Now substitute all those given values to our equation and we have negative of negative 4 plus or minus square root of negative 4 squared minus 4 all over 2. Now simplify, negative of negative 4 is just positive 4. Negative 4 squared minus 4 is 16 minus 4 or simply 12. 12 is just 4 times 3, so square root of 12 is just 2 times square root of 3. Now simplify, 4 plus or minus 2 times square root of 3 divided by 2 is the same thing as 2 plus or minus square root of 3. So we have now two real values for this equation. Now if we use quadratic formula to this equation x squared minus 3x plus 1 equals to 0, we get the value of x must be 3 plus or minus square root of 5 over 2. Therefore, we have four real values for x in this quartic equation. So we have x equals 2 plus or minus square root of 3 or x equals 3 plus or minus square root of 5 over 2. Now to double check this result, let's have now our second solution to this question. So our second solution is considering the symmetry of this equation. So what we're going to do is to divide all terms with x squared. Now let's simplify. x to the fourth over x squared is just x squared. Negative 7x cubed over x squared is just 7x. 14x squared over x squared is just 14. Negative 7x over x squared is just negative 7 over x. And the last, we have 1 over x squared and it is equal to 0. Now let's rearrange some terms a little bit. So we have x squared plus 1 over x squared minus 7x minus 7 over x plus 14 equals 0. Now let's focus on these two terms, negative 7x minus 7 over x. Now let's factor out negative 7. So we have negative 7 multiplied by x plus 1 over x. Now let y equals x plus 1 over x. So this is just y. Now how about x squared plus 1 over x squared? This is not y squared. Now take note that if we square both sides, we get y squared equals x squared plus 2 plus 1 over x squared. Now subtract 2 on both sides, we get that y squared minus 2 equals x squared plus 1 over x squared. Thus, this x squared plus 1 over x squared is just y squared minus 2. Now simplify, negative 2 plus 14 is just positive 12. So we have y squared minus 7y plus 12 equals to 0. And we know this quadratic equation can be factored as y minus 3 multiplied by y minus 4. Now since it is equal to 0, it follows that at least one of them must be equal to 0. So we can say that y minus 3 equals to 0 or y minus 4 equals to 0. And don't forget that y must be equal to x plus 1 over x. Therefore, this y can be replaced as x plus 1 over x, and this y is also x plus 1 over x. Now, let's focus on the first equation and let's simplify. To cancel out the fraction, let's multiply all terms by x. If we do that, we get x squared plus 1 minus 3x equals to 0. Now, rearrange some terms a little bit. So, we have x squared minus 3x plus 1 equals to 0. Now, on the second equation, do the same thing. To cancel the fraction, multiply all terms with x. So, x squared plus 1 minus 4x equals to 0. 
Now, rearrange some terms a little bit. We have x squared minus 4x plus 1 equals to 0. Now, notice that these two equations are familiar because we already solved them on our first solution. Therefore, we can already say that the four real values for x in this equation must be 2 plus or minus square root of 3 and 3 plus or minus square root of 5 over 2. And as always, we are done.